Elizabeth Counts of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do an easy keto recipe, a crock pot roast with apple cider vinegar, coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Counts of Low Carb. If you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe. Let's dive into the video my super easy keto recipe of making a crock pot roast, including apple cider vinegar in it. Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth Counts of Low Carb. I lost 50 pounds through keto and intermittent fasting, and I'm losing the last 50 pounds. Let me dive into my recipe. I'm gonna put it in the description link below, and so you can have all the exact quantities. But what I basically do is I get one to two pounds of chuck roast, and there's other meats that you can have. That's the one I picked up that you can put in the crock pot. Um, I put down first a half a cup of my apple cider vinegar I, and then a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I would suggest using Bragg's. This is just what I happened to get during an Aldi haul. Before you put in the apple cider vinegar, make sure you shake that mother up. So you get the mother, it's called mother, at the bottom. It's all the additional nutrients. You shake it up. A half a cup, dump that into your crock pot. In addition, dumping a full cup of canned tomatoes into it. Now some people are going to say tomatoes have the high net carb and they most certainly do however you're using the juices you're not necessarily eating the tomatoes in it they're using it to cook the meat okay i put a cup of tomatoes in i put those things down and then i put another eight ounces of bone broth into it and then eight ounces of bone broth make sure you check your bone broth ingredients that there's not extra sugar added for creepy carbs and then i have a 2.5 pound pot roast I'm gonna put that in, my meat. Sometimes I use more, sometimes I use less. And this whole recipe, the easy part of it is use what you have. If you don't have something like this at home, substitute it for something else. So I put those things down, then I put my meat in. And then two tablespoons of olive oil, almond oil, or walnut oil. Put that over, and the reason why I'm putting that over is A, to add extra fats, but B, to make my spices stick to it so it tastes even more flavorful. And then a bay leaf. Then I put two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt on top. My pink Himalayan salt, I showed this on other videos, but I use, I buy my pink Himalayan salt in bulk and then I just parcel it out with mason jars. I'll put those in the description link below. You can see them in the corner over there. And you can see my crock pot because I already did this video. <laughs> I'm reverse engineering it. But so let's a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. There's my bay leaf a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a tablespoon of onion powder. If you wanna add fresh garlic, feel free. That's another substitute. I just didn't happen to have any. Set the crock pot for eight hours on low, or you could do five hours on high, but y'all, if you do it on high, your meat's gonna be way tougher. This is a particularly tough cut of beef. I like to do it on low as long as I possibly can, and then um, that way the meat is more flavorful and also less tough when it comes out. It should basically shred somewhat like carnitas, um, like chipotle carnitas. It should shred after you cook it. So, so it is all done. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna get this cut up. For my keto and low carb friends, I am just simply gonna put this over, um, you can put it over some vegetables, you could add some extra olive oil on top to get some extra oils in. For my family who eats paleo um, and doesn't eat full um, keto, I'll put it over salad for them and put some sour cream with it. It is so good. Let me show you the end, end product plated. me wrapping up all the leftovers huge hit within my family we ate it all very quickly super super easy inexpensive delicious have leftovers for tomorrow's lunch you can just simply add a little bit of sour cream a little bit of oil on top maybe even with some keto approved vegetables which i'll put in the description link below and that's what the meal looks like voila bon appetit it is delicious i hope you guys like this video also if you're interested in my crush it with countess weight loss series where i've lost 50 pounds through keto and intermittent fasting and I've gone past my weight loss doll losing more than 50 pounds, I will put in the description link below my course that is getting released very shortly and it has videos, workbooks, printables, super, super easy way of how you do keto and how you do intermittent fasting with success. If you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe and check out down below my other videos that are related to my keto recipes. Talk to you guys soon and go check out Counts of Low Carb.
keto.com, my daily blog for all things keto, intermittent fasting. Bye guys. Oh, and if you want to be on my free email list, you can also find that too on countessoflowcarb.com. Have a great day. Bye guys. A full tablespoon of your Italian seasoning, one, woo, woo, one bay leaf, put it on keto, keto, <laughs> My super easy keto recipe of making a crock pot, easy apple cider vinegar crock.